What's the deal with all the conversations surrounding AI and technology today? After all, this isn't a new concept, technology isn't a new concept, AI, all these things have been around for decades. So what is it that's happening now which is causing AI progress to accelerate so quickly? And what is it that's causing so much conversation to be centered around AI and technology and how it's going to impact the world of work? There are a couple of things that we're starting to see now that we didn't see before. The first thing that we need to remember is that 90% of the world's data has been created within the last two years. Now previously, AI didn't have access, technology didn't have access to all of this data and information, so it wasn't able to be as useful as it is now. Because more data, more information means more insights, more stuff that we can feed to technology so that it can essentially make sense of it. Think of data as food for AI. Before, we didn't have as much food, now we have more food than AI could possibly want. So that's the first trend that's fueling a lot of the AI discussions. The second thing that we're starting to see is technology costs have been going down. It's becoming cheaper for us to use technology to build technology. I mean, think of cloud storage, for example. Years ago, you used to have to pay hundreds of dollars to get access to cloud storage. Today, companies are basically just giving it away. So technology costs around the globe are going down in a variety of different areas, which means it's cheaper for us to use AI, it's cheaper for us to use technology and apply these technologies to many different environments and scenarios. The other thing that we're starting to see that is fueling a lot of this AI progress and growth is around the speed of technology. As technological progress increases, computers, technology, all this stuff is just becoming faster. So now you give information to a computer and it's able to calculate quicker, it's able to calculate faster. And so more data, the decreasing cost of technology, the increasing speed at which technology can operate is all fueling technological progress. And of course we have Moore's Law, which kind of fits into all of this as well. And Moore's Law is essentially this idea that we can fit more transistors onto a microprocessor. And because we can fit more transistors onto a microprocessor, we can essentially make those microprocessors more powerful. We can make those microprocessors smaller. We can use more of those microprocessors in our devices. That's why every year, if you look at the speed of phones, they're increasing dramatically because the chips that we use to power our phones, the chips that we use to power our computers are becoming more powerful, largely because of Moore's Law. We're fitting more of those little transistors on those microprocessors, so that microprocessor is becoming more powerful every year. And so all of these things are coming together. And when you think about speed, when you think about decreasing technology costs, when you think about more data, when you think about Moore's Law, you see that we are creating a perfect storm for AI, a perfect storm for technology to be able to do a lot of things that humans used to be able to do. So this is why we're having so much conversation and dialogue and debate around AI today, because of those four things.